Dear students, it is the second video for week 14 and we are learning the water situation in Pakistan. In the video one, we came to know about the importance of water in the domestic life and the social life in the economic life of the people of Pakistan and also the major water resources. We learned that the main water resources in Pakistan are the glaciers, lakes, rivers, streams, rains, clear? Now let's discuss every source of water one by one precisely. One of the major source of the rainfall in Pakistan is monsoon and western disturbance. Monsoon, you know that the rains that occur from July to September in Pakistan, commonly we know it most may Basad, clear, and this is a long spell of the monsoon. There's a shorter spell of the monsoon, okay, uh, that occurs in the winter season. And luckily, you are also finding uh, the, the raining experience raining for last four days. Clear? So, monsoon and the western disturbance. Jab Maghribi, jo mausam hai, wahan par from the western side of the country where there are uh, deserts and all other, especially in Baluchistan area, then they bring, they cause rainfall, clear? Along with the different kind of uh, upheavals like cyclone and many things, natural catastrophes also happen with this, clear? Then, so they are the main sources of the rains, rain system of the country. About 70% of the annual monsoon rainfall occurs from July to September. Fact 1, ke 70 percent jo monsoon ki barshe hain, wo July se September mein ho jati hain. Okay, and the in this entire Indus plain, clear? And Pakistan territory can be divided into arid and semi arid zones. Kejapur, uh, Kashtkari, Musalsal, Kashtkari Hoti, or Kisijagapur, uh, Thodi Voth, Kashtkari Hoti, just a Barani Alake, Katan, Hari Alake, or Barani Alake. Clear? Fine. So this rain system prevails overall. So ye jo barshe hoti hain fir tamam ilaqon par mukhtalif tareeqon se with little variations and then uh, the agriculture of pakistan promotes like raal pindi like uh, the uh, the potwar region fine then the thal okay poshab and the desert areas of pakistan and in balochistan Agriculture to have barshon ke upar hi hai. The most uh, agriculture depends on the rainfall. Clear? And the main agricultural area of Pakistan is the Indus Plain. Dray Sindh ke jo maidan hai. Clear? Including the Sindh Valley and the Punjab. Fine. And some of the areas of KPK. Clear? So they receive rainfall about 200 and 12 millimeter and 53 millimeters ke jo indus plain hai wahan par 212 aur isi tarah baaki ilakon mein 53 millimeters jo hai wo rainfall hai clear so this rainfall is one of the major source of the water that ki barshon ki wajah se jo pani hota hai wo faslon mein use hota hai it fills the ponds, lakes, okay, 
सीजनल नहरें चलती हैं ओके देन देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वीड्स एंड हर्ब्स दैट ग्रो क्लियर एंड स्पेशली द अंडरग्राउंड वाटर इज फिल्ड जो पानी जेर जमीन है जिसकी सतह पाकिस्तान में पहले ही बहुत ज्यादा गिर रही है दैट ग्रोस दैट राइज इज फाइन ओके जी सेकेंड इज ग्लेशियर पाकिस्तान इज वन ऑफ द लकी कंट्रीज विच इज मोर ग्लेशियर इन द वर्ल्ड आफ्टर द नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल क्लियर नॉर्थ एंड साउथ पोल यू नो दैट दे आर बिगेस्ट अबॉर्ड ऑफ स्नो दे आर हाउस ऑफ स्नो कि वो जो हर साल बर्फ में ही रहते हैं आफ्टर दोज एरियाज पाकिस्तान इज द कंट्री विच कंटेन्स लार्जेस्ट ग्लेशियर्स क्लियर Around thirteen hundred, one lakh and thirty five hundred square kilometers areas of Pakistan contain glaciers. Clear, and itna area jo hai wo Pakistan ka glaciers mein hai. Or two to three percent of the water which flows into the Indus River comes from these waters. Ke Drasind ke andar aur iske jo इलाके हैं इनके दरियाओं में जो पानी बहता है उसमें से दो से तीन परसेंट जो पानी है दैट इज दैट डायरेक्टली कम फ्रॉम द ग्लेशियर्स कराक्रम कराक्रम रेंज को कराक्रम दे आर द हाईएस्ट माउंटेन रेंज इन द वर्ल्ड क्लियर एंड द ग्लेशियर्स लेंथ इन दीज एरियाज इज 160 किलोमीटर्स इस एरिया में जो ग्लेशियर्स पाए जाते हैं उनका जो एरिया दैट बिकम्स 160 किलोमीटर ओके एंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली 37 परसेंट ऑफ द कराक्रम एरिया इज अंडर ग्लेशियर तो कराक्रम के पहाड़ जो हैं उनमें से जो है वो 37 परसेंट आर दी अंडर द ग्लेशियर हिमालय है 17 परसेंट एंड यूरोपियन एल्प्स हैज ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट क्लियर तो हिमालय के जो पहाड़ हैं उनमें उनका जो है वो सेवनटीन परसेंट एरिया जो है दैट इज ऑन द ग्लेशियर्स वेर दल्प्स एल्प्स इज अ वेरी फेमस माउंटेन रेंज दैट फ्लोज इन टू दैट रन इन टू द बॉर्डर ऑफ स्पेन फ्रांस क्लेरी एंड स्पेशली सम एरियाज एग्जिस्ट लाइक मे बी स्विट्जरलैंड टाइप कंट्रीज फाइन सो दिस इज अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट रिवर विच टेक्स रिसीव वॉटर फ्रॉम द ग्लेशियर्स इज द काबुल रिवर क्लियर द काबुल रिवर विच we experience while we cross the indus river and we find near noshera kpk it connects with merge with the indus river it starts from the hindukush okay and then the other rivers like jhelum okay chenab and all other rivers they from they start from the lower latitudes ये जो है वो थोड़ी एलिवेशन कम बुलंदी वाले इलाकों से निकलते हैं क्लियर जबकि सिंध और जो इंडस्ट्री काबुल रिवर है दे कंपेरेटिवली फ्लो डाउन फ्रॉम द हाईएस्ट एरियाज टू द डाउन ओके जी सो ग्लेशियर्स आर वन ऑफ द मेजर सोर्सेज ऑफ वाटर बट वन थिंग इज मैंशनेबल एयर दैट ड्यू टू द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग glaciers of pakistan are melting quickly and consequently they are giving rise in the water and floods are becoming fluent and frequent in pakistan to jiski wajah se pakistan ke andar jo floods hain wo badi tezi ke sath aa rahe hain rivers and dams okay you all understand that pakistan there are indus river system that in pakistan 
uh, Indus River, Dresen, Chelam, Chenab, Ravi. Okay, they are one of the major rivers that flow into Pakistan. And British, when they control India in around 1860-1885, they planned and they developed the, the they, they changed the natural course of the rivers, they built headworks, they built different kind of dams, okay, and then they constructed world's best irrigation system in Pakistan, especially in, in Punjab. Clear? It includes both Indian Punjab and Pakistani Punjab. Fine. And later on, the when after the partition in 1960, the Pakistan and Indian contention over the water system existed and there were huge uh, tension between two countries, then the World Bank uh, make an agreement clear the Indus Water Treaty between India and Pakistan. Then it was decided that the upper three plains like Indus, Jhelum, and Chenab, Pakistan will have the right of the water over these rivers. Whereas the other rivers that flow like Ravi, Satluj, and Bias, which flow into the Indian Punjab, India will take control of these rivers. Clear? Then later on, the dams were constructed on these rivers. Clear? And like Mangla, Tarbela, fine. They are the dams which control the water, which generate the electricity. Okay, and they help both the industry and human by providing the electricity for both. Clear? Then there are, later on the situation changed. Indian constructed more dams on the rivers and Pakistan as compared to these rivers uh, built less dams and unfortunately due to the political crisis and disagreement between the provinces, dam construction in Pakistan is neglected and due to which the electricity crisis rose electricity crisis BI or now the government is trying to build the dams but the cost has reached more Pakistan, unfortunately, is amid the uh, financial crisis. Fine. And also, the issues being raised by Indians over the dams and over the rivers and the water system. Clear? Pakistan has recently built dams in, like, Neelam Jhelum project is a major project and then Bhasha Dam, the Amar Bhasha Dam, and there are other very little dams or uh, small dams are being constructed in the country, but the construction of the dam is far less than the need. Umeed, the students, aapko samaj Move to the next. If you want to have a picture of the dams, look at this. This is the picture of the dam. A dam is basically, you find uh, a lake hoti hai, which is being covered by the mountains or some other artificial walls, clear. And then there are the spillways, the spillways banaya jate hain unke saath, clear. And then the water is thrown into the canals and spillways ke saath, jo canals bani hoti hain, water unko bheja jata hai. Okay, the students, now the ground water in Pakistan. Look at this picture and you find a tube well 
is throwing buckets of the water into a little pond and behind you watch the crops maybe it is the wheat groundwater is one of the main sources of water in pakistan okay about 90% of the fresh water people use for their drinking and washing is the groundwater clear luckily pakistan has the plenty of the groundwater but unfortunately because of the less raining okay and more water sucking for agriculture the groundwater has decreased 41% clear this is what the reality is that growing water is decreasing but with the grace of almighty almost 80% of the punjab province is blessed with unconfined aquifer ke bhai 80% punjab ke jo ilake hain wahan par zere zameen pani mashallah available hai 30% of the sindh clear land is blessed with the ground water clear dear students i hope you have learned about the major resources of water in pakistan and their situation in the next video we will discuss will know about the utilization of water in pakistan thank you very much